The world has its eye on the U.S. elections last week, and when Joe Biden was projected to win, international students showed overwhelmingly positive responses. I was quite relieved that、um, Biden was、um, to be the next president. With tightening visa policies during the pandemic, international students debated between going home or stay in the U.S. Khan Dai Lim, a sophomore from Cambodia, went back home early this year, but now feels more comfortable returning to Ngu. It's just too hectic in the America at the moment, so my family kind of say that maybe you should just stay in Cambodia for now and stuff. But then, with the, this election's over, maybe a couple more months.、Um, hopefully, everything is a little bit better, so it will probably、um, allow me to feel more at ease to go back to the United States. Kasia Chu, a freshman from Burundi, took a gap quarter, but also expects to step foot on campus. As an international, so I'm really preoccupied by immigration issues, and I hope that that will be the first thing to change. Some students, like Mason Nan, a sophomore from Malaysia, stayed in the U.S. after the outbreak, but still worries over visa policy. Like the Trump administration, kind of like try to. You know, get international students to go in person class, or just like lose your visa. The election results bring hope to international students wishing to be welcomed to their second home soon. Hannah Zhang, Northwestern News Network.